Welcome back to Newsroom here on SABC News 9. 2014, the World Bank came up with a report that South Africans are the biggest borrowers in the world. And they appear to be borrowing mostly from friends and family, private micro-lenders, and to a far lesser extent, from financial institutions. Now, statistics compiled by debt management firm Debt Rescue shows that South African consumers owe the bulk of their monthly salaries to creditors. Only 23.42% of South Africans have money left at the end of the month. The other 76.58% are flat broke. Now, Debt Rescue CEO Neil Ritz says this is clear evidence that a growing number of consumers, uh, assumers rather, are getting ever deeper into debt. Now, Neil is with us uh, this morning to give us a more clearer picture, if there can be a more clearer picture, about the big hole that our consumers are in in South Africa. Consumerism, is it out of control in South Africa? Unfortunately, it is. Um, you know, we're sitting with a problem in South Africa that, um, you know, people are not really financially literate. Um, mm -hmm. And that causes a lot of problems. That, on top of the fact that um, we're going through very tough times, uh, we're seeing a lot of price increases. Uh, we've seen the food prices going mm -hmm. up uh, because of the drought. Uh, petrol prices are going up, interest rates are going up, and all these things filter through to the prices of uh, your basic goods mm. and services. And unfortunately, uh, you know, we feel that the people in South Africa are not equipped to with uh, dealing with these problems. Yeah. And uh, they're also not really uh, uh, um, educated in terms of the help that is out there. Mm. Um, you know, if there's one thing that government did right, it's uh, implementing the National Credit Act yeah. um, to help over-indebted people and yeah. also to prevent people becoming over-indebted. But unfortunately, not everybody knows about that. Yeah. Um, and that's a problem that we're sitting with in South Africa. But yes, it's, it's true. We're sitting with um, people who are over-indebted. And uh, it is now National Savings Month in South Africa. And, uh, you know, it's very important for people to know that, uh, you know, you must save mm. and you must also have an emergency fund, uh, yeah. for instance, to, to, to um, you know, for, for cases like this where we see price increases yeah. and uh, to make provision for this. Now, what about, we're talking about those people that are out there that are already swimming in, 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 in an ocean of debt. Is it, is it ever too late to start saving? And, and if you had to give them a, a, a kind of a, a tipping point or advice to kind of start the process, what would that be? Well, it's never too late to start saving. Um, mm. Well, the, f the, the most important thing is to get yourself out of debt. And in order to do that, you have to draw up a budget and draw up a plan to mm. get yourself out of debt. Now, um, a big tip would be to start with your smaller debt. You know, a lot of people would advise you to, to start with a debt with the highest interest rates. Yes, yeah. it makes sense. But psychologically, it's good to start with your smaller debt to get the ball rolling because as soon as you see and realize that you've settled some of your debt, yeah. um, you get that gratification yeah. and uh, that would help you to get the ball rolling. The and win get it of having your... paid something off. Exactly. Just that feeling that you, you've, you've, you've done that um, would, would help you to get the mm. ball rolling and, and pay off more of your debt and stay on that track. Um, and then obviously it's very important for people to know that uh, if they want to do that, uh, they would have to amend their lifestyles and um, not to still try and keep, mm. um, uh, you know, uh, competing with the Joneses, so to speak, yeah. and keep up with the Joneses. It's, a, it's an illness that we have in South Africa, I think more so than in other places. But I, I want to ask you about this number, three quarters, 75.42% of South Africans owe, well, they owe more than three quarters of their monthly income to debt before they even touch their money more than three quarters have to go to pay debtors do we as a nation you mentioned that government has already put in place the national credit act and so forth but do we as a nation have to kind of revisit this and, and maybe start start looking at, at other at other scenarios to turn this around well, definitely, we have to use everything that's, that's available to, to, to help the people of South Africa. Um, now, we've mentioned that the National Credit Act has been um, put into place, and that's helping a lot of people. But I think more important than that as well is uh, financial education. We mm. need that. And, uh, 
You know, I feel that government can perhaps do more there in, mm. in the sense that, you know, financial education can be introduced at school mm. level, for instance, yeah. because, you know, we see a lot of times at Debt Rescue that uh, people come to us and when they explain their situations, we see that as soon as they entered the workforce, um, yeah. you know, and uh, they realize that they're now in a position to, to borrow money and mm. get lump sums of money, and all that they have to do is pay a small... Uh, 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 installment every month. Yeah, but, it's but almost it too good to be true if you exactly, don't know it. Huh? Yeah, exactly. And then, um, you know, very soon they find themselves in a situation that uh, they don't have enough money at mm. the end of the month for their living expenses. And then they start financing their living expenses. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some people, and a lot of people actually, financing their food. Um, and basic essentials like clothes and so on. And uh, when you reach that point, you know, you, you will get find that uh, financial institutions, your, the bigger institutions, won't grant you any credit mm -hmm. anymore. And then people tend to um, approach the loan shark, so to yeah. speak, and uh, they borrow money from them at exorbitant interest rates. And uh, these people sometimes also use questionable uh, methods to collect their money. Questionable is a nice way of putting, <laughs> breaking your legs, Neil. But let's quickly talk about uh, the financial institutions. Do you think they're doing enough around the education of people about debt? Um, and, and, and should we maybe put a little bit more pressure on financial institutions to, to tell people not to always be borrowing money? Well, I, I definitely think we can do that. And uh, I don't think that the financial uh, institutions uh, are doing enough in, in that sense, mm -hmm. um, you know, well, in terms of the National Credit Act, uh, uh, the financial institutions have to make sure that people can afford to pay back their loans. Mm. But I don't think that's enough. Um, yeah. You know, I think it must go a little bit further than that. Like you said, um, they must also be made aware of the dangers of taking on um, debt and, you know, make sure that people really need that debt. Um, people must distinguish between things that, um, you know, they need and things that they just want, you know, yeah. luxuries. Um, wants and, and needs. It's the, it's the one thing, we, it's the one problem we all have is the wants and needs thing. But if there's one thing that we should be on the lookout for now, we know that credit is not available as easily as before. But if you had to give people advice, what's the one thing, what are the maybe a landmine that you can step on to with regards to debt? What should people be on the lookout for? Well, um, debt is not as easily available as it, as it was before, um, but that, that applies to uh, certain debt, like mm. home loans and vehicle finance, yeah. where there's assets involved. But um, with regards to unsecured debt, it's still readily available. Mm. And I think that's the landmine. Um, you know, the, the fact that it's so easily available and, yeah. and, and people must make sure that um, they are in a position to, to pay off that debt um, before taking it on. Um, so you cannot just, um, you know, wait for the, for the institutions to, to no. um, come to your help and to look at all these things. You as an individual must make sure that um, you can afford to pay off that debt. And obviously we must also, you know, for instance, look at, um, after our children yeah. and make sure that they are, are financially educated. And we must do that education for them. Well, Neil, thank you for joining us today. Sobering, sobering news and advice that you're giving us. Uh, the CEO of Debt Rescue here in South Africa, Neil Ritz, thank you for joining us this morning and, and keeping it real with us. It's not, always, it's not always the thing that you want to hear, but it's simple. We have to learn to live with less. Thank you. That's Neil Ritz now.